Hello everyone, we just finished playing a six hour game of Warhammer 40k Apocalypse. It was the most fun I've had in ages. It was truly apocalyptic. Yeah. Spoiler yeah. alert. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> So for today's game, we used the mission Exterminatus. Yes. We had 250 power level per side, while um, the Adeptus Mechanicus are trying to sabotage and exterminate the whole planet before the Tyranids can eat it. They've got to hold the line, series of objectives, and just last as long as they can until the whole planet explodes and takes the Hive fleet out. So we've got five objectives, one in each deployment zone, three down the middle. It's down to the Adeptus Mechanicus to hold the line as long as possible while the detonations start going off. To capture the top end of the table, Lewis deployed both of his mighty Knight Titans, along with large units of Skitari Rangers and Catafron Destroyers, led by Supreme Commander Belisarius Cool. They will be going up against Alex's own commander, a winged Hive Tyrant, backed up by his beloved Pyrovores and huge Tyrannifexes. Lewis hopes to secure the vital center objectives with his strong ranged units, the Skitari Vanguard, three June Crawler tanks, and the Sakaran infiltrators. But these will be facing off against Alex's gargantuan Hierophant Bio-Titan. Ready to storm the bottom objective, Lewis has unleashed his eight Castellan robots, supported by a Scorpius Disintegrator and squadrons of Iron Striders to go round the flank. Alex has countered this with his big bugs of his Carnifex Screamer Killer Brood and the disgusting Horror Specs. If the Tyranids can break through the Imperial lines and take the objectives, they'll be able to destroy the detonation device, devour the entire world, and then move on to the Forge world next. So it's pretty basic, there's a couple of victory points in the middle. Pretty basic. <laughs> pretty basic. Standard stuff. <laughs> in the grim future. In the grim dark future of uh, Eternal War, you're right. <laughs> um, <laughs> So we're playing Apocalypse, right? Mm -hmm. Which is kind of a weird rule set. Right? Yeah, everyone fires, but you don't find out what dies till the end of the turn. Yeah, everyone's sort of, am I dead or not? Like in LARPing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have to check their <laughs> laminated sheet and be like, how many wounds have I got? <laughs> oh, fuck, I am dead. Oh, they... uh, reveal, reveal all your orders. I've got advance on all my orders, apart from my ones at the back. Your shoot so team. I'm going advance, advance. Shooting with the shoot boys, advance, advance, and guess what? Advance. <laughs> my, my initial strategy was, I'm gonna just throw everything at that big titan. Mm. It's gonna get to bite me once and mm -hmm. puke everywhere, but that'll be it. Right. If I focus my entire army, everything, I shoot it with everything, I've got all my anti-tank stuff, and I had some pretty good anti-tank stuff. These guys have got neutron cannons, this guy's a proper tank. I had some las cannons on my ostrich dudes. Everything fired into this horrible titan, and it came pounding out the gates as well, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was straight out the gates, threw it right down your throat in the middle of the middle of the board, um, where it can reach everything and get hit by everything. Mm. Yeah, I think they can just see this giant thing coming over the top, and they're all just why wouldn't they it. shoot it? Yeah, bam, 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 <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Everyone is just firing everything they've got into the air because it's guaranteed to hit it. It might not penetrate, <laughs> and it may spray acid onto our dude. <laughs> Those men are dead already, Captain. Open fire. And also, I had my Sicarian infiltrators. They'd infiltrated. Oh. Forward. Yeah, they were stupid for doing that. And yeah, they scouted <laughs> forwards closer to the Titan. <laughs> well, they, they've only got, they, they're good at in the shadows, Ben. Right. <laughs> they're, they, these are like elite assassins. Oh, so these, these are badass. They saw the Titan blocking out the sun and they thought, that's a shadow I need to get into. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> in the shadow of the giant bio Titan, well, I shall skulk. No one normally has to fight these things, Ben. They're pretty <laughs> yeah. unusual. They're about 400 oh, quid model uh, <laughs> yeah. or something ridiculous. And no one has. moving and they were like, Oh, that's alive. What have we done? Uh, they take five damage. And they have four wounds. They're all dead. They're all dead. Well, they're the first casualty of war, Ben. Woo! First blood. Woo! A lot of that was because I'd started pissing acid blood all over them from all the shots that you'd been making at them oh, as well. Yeah. That so you almost horrible. killed them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so I technically got my own guys killed. <laughs> yeah. Which is probably true. But then it came to the damage phase. And of course, I was delighted to see how Alex would fare against the huge amount of damage that I'd done to him. So three ups, yeah? Yeah. Oh dear, I missed one. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like Lewis fired his entire army. He took one wound. He got a wound. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, you managed to roll all of the saves apart from, I think, one wound. Yeah, what is that thing made wound? out of? It is so tough. Acid. <laughs> Just a ball Just of acid. Just a ball of acid. <laughs> 
So at the top of turn two, Ben mentioned to me casually that, oh, I can just leave my artillery on the sh standard shoot, which means they're much better at shooting because there's no way anything's going to be able to attack them this turn. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right. Of course, not realizing that the Titan had a belly full, I think you said a tummy full, <laughs> of gene stealers that came gurgitating out. It's just rending claw the hell out of these um, these tanks then, I suppose. Straight into my isolated artillery. Um, I like to think all the egg sacs in its undercarriage burst and dozens of gene stealers came pouring out. I'm sure you could see the sort of slight frustration and disappointment on my face at that point as I realized that these guys were gonna be locked in melee for the rest of the game <laughs> and unable to use their artillery where it was needed. And so not only had I done no damage to the Titan, but I had done, uh, my artillery was out of action. I was like, the fuck am I gonna do? And I just decided to leave the Titan alone and focus oh, on the sides. Ben's having, a, Ben's having a fright here. <laughs> yeah. My two knights went round the top of the map. Mm -hmm. My iron striders, which have got las cannons, went round the bottom of the map. All right, well, I'll move these all guys, legging these guys up. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And we just unloaded everything really quickly. Uh, sacrificing our middle, we focused on the horns. So it was actually quite successful. The iron striders managed to take out two carnifexes. Yeah, that was big news. Mm, with well. a little bit of help from punchy bots. Yes, they had eight punch balls. Actually, that was pretty helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was quite a lot of guys on the bottom. <laughs> eight flamey boys. Cool, so you're gonna get two dice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many I expected. Um, uh, both hit. Both hit, and then you're looking for nines on the D12. Tens! Ooh, that's true. Ooh, that couldn't have gone better. Big glass marker on your screamy boys. And then the two knights were actually getting a bit held up. I think they 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 mm. they were struggling to sort of get their um, targeting in. They're new yeah. off the production line. Because they ran into just the most incredible roadblock imaginable. So your roadblock was your favorite unit. The pyrovores. What is mm. the story behind the pyrovore? It's They're very phallic. <laughs> They got like these throat sacks that it like vomits into and then manages to ignite the vomit, like tusky bits, and it, it just isn't he cute? He, he is, is cute. pretty cute. So uh, he's like a dog with a giant penis <laughs> and balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. And it burns when it pees. So, yeah. um, you know, you want to get a cream for that, I guess. I'll shoot at the guys right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Okay. You need a uh, three up. One. Oh, you missed. But they held up a Titan for an entire turn. Two Titans for an entire turn. Most My pyrovores. They survived. <laughs> they survived like a horns of the buffalo maneuver from a pair of Night Titans. <laughs> yeah. This is the most they've ever done ever. Yeah. They've held your entire flank up. The old pincher movement. Just <laughs> yeah. and people say they're awful. Well, I don't it's, know what they're saying because I, I can see them doing glorious work. Which provided a great distraction for my hive tyrant mm. to give it the old switcheroo. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to like thread the needle past these two knights. <laughs> Dump down here and like... Go for call. Surprise, surprise, call. It's me, your boy. And leap behind them Dead. and start shooting up old Belisarius Call, who's mm. your warlord. Yeah. Who we haven't even spoken about yet. He's that dramatic a guy. <laughs> so this was the leader on leader action. You get a victory point if you can kill your opponent's warlord. Belisarius Cool. he's got a decent save, but he's only got two wounds. Mm -hmm. And he's going to play his Vortex Grenade card. <laughs> <laughs> sure he is. <laughs> Let's assume he's opening up some kind of like psychic black hole instead. Yeah. That's less stupid. <laughs> I'm down for it. He just pulls out a Vortex Grenade. <laughs> Oh, he's triggered your vortex grenade that's on your belt. Oh my he's god, the pin I didn't out. realize. <laughs> he's come up behind me. The time when I turned to Ben, I said, how many wounds has Belisarius got? And Ben went, two. And I was like, two? Yeah. Um, and then what he's got is... And uh, now he's going to attack you, I suppose. Do I do my... Yeah, two attacks. Monstrous bioweapons. Mm -hmm. um, it was very close. He actually survived with one wound left. So yeah, that was turn two. So turn three. Mm. I felt like I needed to save my leader. And the best way to do that was with the Titan. No, oh, it's the best way to do anything. I thought that you had had such an impact by hitting my leader in the back. I thought I could do the same. You came up behind me. How do you like it? Oh. <laughs> How do you like that, huh? The cuddle, the spooning. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lovely hug, a warm embrace, and uh, followed by a chainsaw. 
<laughs> that was not expected. Yeah, four wins wounds. from the power fist, and then four attacks from the chain fist, hit on twos. Okay, six double wounds on the hive tyrant. <laughs> I think he might be in trouble. Oh fuck, these yeah. titans are brutal. Yeah. They don't mess around. You got a stack of wound tokens on you, and I thought, well, crikey, you are definitely dead at the end of this round. I don't need to worry about this hive tyrant anymore. Poor old Birdman. Fragile little wing boy. You never saw it coming. Skinning. However, the other Titan, there was a little bit of a dance at one point where I wanted to make sure one of my Titans was on the right place, but I knew that one of my Titans was gonna die. We're gonna shoot and stomp these two with this mm -hmm. lad before he dies. Mm -hmm. And then we will charge and my shooty one, which one's the melee one? The shooty one's the this one. All right, well, he'll, he'll stay on the, he'll move. We'll, we'll, we'll transition. Oh, but he's, he's getting blown up. Yeah, the shooty one's gonna die. Well, in that case, he's gonna have to, we have to stay where we are. <laughs> I'm silly Sorry, guys. it's getting, like, it's getting confusing. Yeah, I, I need to get, I need to keep the point. It's no good if he dies on the point. <laughs> yeah. That's a disaster. Just your artillery with the rupture cannons had. Yeah, these guys, the yeah. Tyrannifexes, they really yeah. went for it. They just dug in and fired relentlessly all game, right? Yeah, I couldn't kill him. And the, the, the final charge from my Titan actually did nothing as well, pretty much. Oh dear, Ben. What do I need? Five. Uh, three wounds. That's dead. Woo! Timber! Dead Titan. Well, he took a lot of uh, damage. He died, I think, charging towards them bravely, which I respect. He just ruptured all over his face. Mm. Yeah. Messy, messy way to go. Fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're into that sort of thing. Fun for the rupturer. <laughs> Maybe not the rupturee. Right, yeah, he's going to change his attention to these gorilla bots and start chewing them up. Towards the bottom of the table, my right flank was really starting to crumble, so I had to come and get those punch bots off the Carnifexes. Also, you had a tank over there. There was a lot on the bottom. There was a bunch of stuff down at the bottom of the board. Okay, so he's got the little 8-inch range gun, which is five attacks. All right, then he's got um, Super Smashy Claws, which is six attacks. He made pretty short work of them with the Titan, because he I ran did, in yeah. blasting his dire bio cannons, just immediately annihilated this guy in one shot. Two ones on my Scorpius, my beautiful tank. Oh, it makes sense. Mega cannons on the t on the. It just got one shot by the fucking Titan, and this is these boys, punch boys are all dead too, leaving just the Carnifex and three tech priests. That's right. <laughs> Those four <laughs> forlorn tech priests. I remember this. They've lost all their robot friends. I mean, it seems weird. I feel like that Carnifex should trump three nerds with um with extra arms, but apparently not. No, they'll be dead next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Just get his hatch. It's all about that hatch now. Oh god, I, I'm going to be really happy if that can't affect manages to hide in that hatch and avoid exterminators. Yeah. I think he's earned it. Yeah, it'd be like old one eye. <laughs> yeah. Another one is, you know. Old one eye origin story. Exactly, old one eye. <laughs> this is how that happened. Well, he, he yeah, never more of uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ben and Alex's Warhammer lore and history. But you can hang out with them in the pub. <laughs> and then I noticed I had a card in my hand which gave me reinforcements. Ah. So we, we, by the way, we haven't mentioned this until now, but we have actually been using cards this whole time. But those behind your... This objective here, yeah. is that the sort of thing? I had one which let me bring back a unit that had died. And because not many units die until the end of the turn, mm. you know, you ain't got many chances to use it. So I rolled a D12 and I got back my Sicarians. I could only bring back one squad. Yeah. But I brought them back behind Alex's line. Yeah, and this really paid off actually. Just turning up there and just existing in contesting Alex's home objective cost yeah. quite a lot of victory points. Yeah. So I was able to block him from getting victory points from his, the, the objective in his zone. Suddenly his, his Titan in the middle is like, which way do I turn? There's, there's, there's three nerds that way. There's some weird guys behind me. There's just a bloodbath in front of me. And there's a Titan going ham on the Hive Tyrant. He did not know where to shoot his goo gun. <laughs> he, did, he did a lot of spinning around. Yeah. Shooting everywhere. <laughs> like a spider in the bath. <laughs> Scuttling around. It's like a World of Warcraft <laughs> boss being taunted in each direction. Yeah. Yeah, so by this time, we're thinking we're getting our explosions ready, the, the atmosphere is ready to ignite, mm -hmm. but there's one thing that hasn't been sorted out, mm. and that is uh, your gigantic titan in the middle of the battlefield. And I feel like this night, fueled by energy and and the excitement with killing your leader, is going to charge the big boy. Enemy Voxnet subverted. 
enemy boxnet <laughs> subverted. Alex had other ideas. He knew you were poised to charge. Exactly. Fired up the box scramblers or something. <laughs> I can't remember what they were called. He had a, a very important card. He had a card. <laughs> what did you just do? It can be used at the start of the action phase. When used, select like one enemy detachment. Your opponent must replace the order that is currently issued for that detachment with a different order. But it turns out charging. I was saved by the rules of the game. Uh, ben looked at the cards and, and Well, you had that. another card that I did something to, different. Yes, I had to play my card after Alex's card. Well, you see, Alex actually has to do he does his at the start of this game. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Saved by the rules! Saved by the rules. So it was all, it worked out, but I think your Titan realized that it had to battle the biggest thing around. Um, and so they went head to head. This is what this is what people wanted, right? They <laughs> wanted to see the Titans fight the heavy Titan. <laughs> We've already brought one of the one of the Titans down. You thought I can handle the second? Yeah. The mm. Pyrovals took the other one out, didn't they? I don't think you can give the Pyrovals the credit for <laughs> docking a Titan now. I think they deserve the they kill. They did enough to survive in two rounds, Alex. That's more than they've ever done. But they were really close to. Like, I mean, it could They were really close they, to being they useful. They saw it die. <laughs> they did. Yeah. They were definitely <laughs> on the battlefield. In the left corner, in wearing the green pauldrons, we have a Knight of House Araxus. So yeah, fresh off killing the Hive Tyrant, your pure melee knight thought, right, I've killed one big guy. What's next? What's bigger? Of, of that thing. Mm -hmm. And he went for him, unfortunately, whiffed a lot of his attacks. He's going to deliver his famous Thunder Strike Mega Fist attack. Hitting on twos! Ah, he's beanstead! <laughs> and then got splattered with blood. <laughs> yeah. as I Acid blood as I proceeded to try and shoot it with whatever I had left. That was amazingly bad dice. I honestly thought you were going to really give him a real... That went wrong. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Carnifex had an argument with the three nerds. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, you jerk. You didn't hit any of the Mechanicus lads. No, he they hit them. Diving. He hit them, just he couldn't hurt them. Bonks off the... I think he chopped off their tentacles and stuff, but no body armor. hits. You done, Carnifex? I'm going to have to share the stupid hatch with them. <laughs> 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 They're going to talk to you about like m oh, computers and three machines. Three of them, can you imagine? <laughs> this car's like three waking up at... Oh, this is a nice hatch. Um, yeah, now big boy. I want to um, shoot some, shoot my super cannons at these guys. I want the hatch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And murdered them all. Which was tragic. Yeah. Claiming the escape hatch all for himself. Yeah. That's right. Shit. Yes. Oh, oh my god. god. He gets the hole. <laughs> he's got the hole. He's got oh, the no, hole. He has to make his save. It is close. Just, yeah, he, oh, he's not going to die. He's gonna <laughs> Fuck. Oh, what's his name? That last screamer killer who gets to live in the hole. I don't know, he just shrieks. <laughs> <laughs> so that was amazing because that secured you. That objective, which you really needed. So if your Titan could hold the middle ground and win it from my knight, mm -hmm. you would be in a great position to actually win the game. Mm -hmm. uh, then we need to do the, the wounds on my knight. Nothing else mattered apart from these Titans fighting over this middle point. It was all, all the victory points were on that middle objective, okay? Mm -hmm. And I was like, bam, I've got a card, Armor of Contempt. That card has turned him from almost certain to die to He's actually fine. a decent chance of living. So you need to make eight D12 saves. And I did, and the roll was great, and mm -hmm. I was like, I'm in great shape. Alex's time's gonna die now. And then it is absolutely oh, a more round. Like, you need to roll with yours. Because uh -huh. you might die. I doubt it. Armor of contempt. <laughs> uh, yeah. oh, we couldn't sit here for eight hours and leave it on that anti-climax. <laughs> so we decided there would be one more round of combat. Well, actually, as many as it took. As many as it took. <laughs> yeah. Which was one. <laughs> <laughs> Titan Ball! I know this is the last turn, but we're going to just Titan Ball this out. Mm -hmm. So, Alex, you can roll all of your attacks <laughs> against my Titan. I will roll all of my attacks against you. Okay. Oh, okay. And we'll see who comes out on top. The problem is every time I chainsawed your Hierophant, more acid blood would come out. <laughs> yeah. So Even I was just covering myself <laughs> with the damage. Yeah. And the knight punches back. Mm -hmm. He's got four attacks with a power fist. Two. Two hits. And then mm -hmm. four with the chainsaw. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. Two ones. My god. Two more though. Two. Uh, there was one point where I dealt all these wounds to Alex's Titan and Alex was like, what about my acid blood? <laughs> he died. Did as much damage back to you as you'd done to him. <laughs> And you get 10 sets of acid. <laughs> oh, yeah, acid. Yeah, 10 sets of acid. This kind of was your idea. Add it. I've got, 
I'm <laughs> chopping you and there's definitely acid blood coming out. Um, so you resolved your wounds first. Oh, Oof. Oh, oh. Exactly enough to kill you. Mm. It was literally just enough. And I was if like- past one more save, oof, you'd have lived. Just enough to kill. It's exactly lethal. So he's exactly. dead. Yeah. It could be a double KO. I've got another card. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, miraculous escape. <laughs> what? Um, so the double KO was a thing, but then I had a miraculous escape <laughs> card <laughs> ready to go that I'd somehow also pulled out of the yeah. deck and been holding on to. Took away one of your hits, leaving you with seven saves on five up. Seven saves on five up on a D6. Mm. It's pretty hard to do. Titan Bowl may just still end up in a double KO. I'm gonna roll them one by one. Oh God. Made the first it. one. <laughs> Made the second what? one. No, 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 no. Made the third one. <laughs> no. This one gets through. Someone, I've got two wounds left. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, oh, another six. Another oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. Never gonna roll that lucky again and I saved it for when I needed it. I win Titan Ball! <laughs> <laughs> that is actually an Adeptus Mechanicus victory. Mm. They held the line long enough to detonate the planet, give that high fleet that's trying to gnome on the planet like a real sore tummy as the planet explodes Aww. in his mouth. He's gonna have heartburn. Oh, is he gonna oh, be okay? Oh, planning eating spaceship. <laughs> <laughs>